Hello there. I am Matthew Chapman. In this special segment, I will be talking about what is it I personally enjoy about painting. When it comes to the world of art, I personally like the work of the masters, the old masters and the group of seven, and the painters that done landscapes and some of the aggravatingly boring stuff that some people don't enjoy anymore. I personally do. I'm a quiet guy in real life, and that kind of work is what I find most engaging. It just sucks me in. The reason why I paint is because I like to tell stories that events that have occurred in the past, usually involving the time period of 19, early 19th century, in like 1910, 1920s, back in the, uh, the old war age, Agatha Christie, and even into ancient civilizations like Atlantis and El Dorado, mystical cities, and mysticism in general. And when it comes to modern realism, I get a bit lost on that. One of the most recent series I've done is based on the RMS Titanic, which has been a lifelong fascination of mine since age six. And this is how I like to paint, with wild, bold strokes, vivid colors, all very animated. If you see here, this is the grand staircase of the Titanic being flooded, the water crashing into the dome. And definitely I'm attracted to scenes of mass death and mayhem and panic. And that's why I never can quite explain why, why I have such a morbid imagination, but that is what I'm most drawn to in this kind of subject matter. Here we can see, thus we can, the Titanic dipping down into the waves. Some of the artists that I like using for reference include, here we see Marc Chagall's painting, especially with the use of color and the dreamlike look that Marc Chagall tended to use for a lot of his paintings. Although going past painting and into illustration, this is J.C. Leyendecker's work for our Time magazine. Uh, it's a style that I'm quite drawn to, both looking at fancy clothes and fancy people. Also here with Edward Gorey and his illustrative work. Uh, I love the dark contrast and light contrast that he does, which I imitate a lot in my own work here. The pale man and the lady. Very horrific. Yes, I'm also drawn a lot to horror as subject matter again. Back to the painted expressions. It's very much, this is from uh, Laura Bone the Dagger of Amon Ra, a computer game. Here is Francis Bacon. Again, with the laughing madman between two slabs of meat, which I imitate in this computer drawing here, and this is this is now digital work. More bodies. I can't get enough of them. It's always been a pressing question for myself to ask: Where would I see myself developing in the future as a painter? And would I still continue with the subject matter that I've always been interested in since childhood? I'd be able to make that risk of branching off into territory that's not so otherworldly and more here and now. And that's a, that's a really hard call for me because deep down I feel it would be true to what I was doing yesterday. Here I'll be showing some concept artwork of upcoming projects I'll be working on. Over here. <laughs> I've got some concept sketches for a painting project that's coming up for the new release of the next Titanic computer game. These pictures are concept sketches of what the paintings could look like in the grand staircase of the Titanic before she went down. And since the paintings are now gone forever, it's up to my interpretation of what they could look like. So, on sea, that could have been a half portrait of a man. I enjoyed working in this, this neo Victorian style. Italian landscape. And yes, that's also something else I enjoy because the painting is kind of a uh, Da Vinci mist look, chiaroscuro, dark and light. 
a vase of flowers for the D-Deck reception group meeting. And the uh, reference material for this would all come from the Titanic sister ship, the Olympic, which had very similar paintings. This other project I'm doing for my dad is going to be a mural on the back of his garage of a nature, nature wilderness scene. We both have fondness for camping and wilderness, and I put more animals into this, but I like to do very fine detail work of black outlines. And, uh, you're, you're, you're the next, you're the next Vincent Van Gogh. Well, Mr. Chapman, it's very nice. Well, thank you very much. Matthew, 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 Matthew. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, I mean, the colour. The colour I and mean, the texture you've got here. Oh, really, you're really... You're a very talented young man. See from the side comes. You see the tornadoes in the back of the video? What's going on here? It's very interesting. See what you've got going on there. Yeah, Matthew. So, how, how much is this? It goes for $450. Some of the concern on a rainy day, I guess. Oh, I don't know, Susan, what do you think? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's it on my little segment on what I like about painting. Join me at a brand view next time. Next time. Good night.